today. I'm product testing. Testing out uh, Guggen baits, actually. First time actually trying it. It's a 10 inch Mondo worm. Today is a super hot day. It's uh, July 2nd and it's like freaking 93, 95 degrees outside. Water temp is high 80s. You can tell the water is barely moving. So, let's see how it goes. I had a little drop off ledge here. Ah, yes. What do we got? Woo! What do we get? That a northern. That was first cast too, man. First cast. That's a decent size one. There we go, guys. How about that? Almost jumped into the boat. <laughs> And he snapped me off. <laughs> Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Done retying. Let's try this again. Ah, <sighs> that's pretty nice. So I don't have a graph or anything on my boat or anything like that. I don't need one because I know this lake pretty well. I fish this lake quite often. Professional. Professional. Literally bouncing it off the bottom and uh what I wanted to do is what I did earlier, but uh Let's see if I can even do that. I we basically got to their strike zone and threw straight to the side and let it go. So, you know, where they come and attack crappies and everything. Just uh, talking to a couple earlier today. They were actually wondering if fish were edible in this lake. I think they're pretty edible. It's basically right off the river. First cast. Usually that's bad luck, right? <laughs> Let's see. The northern almost jumped into my boat. Just letting it hit bottom and scooting it along. the first time trying Guggen baits guys first time trying Guggen baits is, is it legit is it better than everything else usually when I, I usually get a the power bait the uh, power worm the with ribbon tail worm or something like that you know This is a 10 inch mono worm. Shout out to Lake Fork guy, man. He's my favorite Guggen. Some people hate him, some people love him. I, I respect people that, you know, work hard and keep at it. God. What am I doing? I gotta tighten him. I only got a couple hours to fish. I came out late today. Today was just so hot it wasn't even worth. Couldn't get out early in the morning. Uh, I had my kids. I'm probably going to go out fishing with my kids later uh, tomorrow morning. Hopefully I can take my son out, get him on some bass somewhere.
I'm going to head up this side and I'm going to keep basically following this edge on the left side where it's more shaded on the other side of this little island right here. But it is dead calm. It gets pretty weedy. I might hit up the weeds at the same way with this. Throw one more cast back that way. We'll see how it goes. Lots of trees in this lake too, so be wary about that. For a Minnesota lake, this water is very stained. Most lakes are pretty clear. Senkos do pretty well at this lake as well. But we'll see how it goes. I hit weeds. another bite. What do we got here? Wow, guys, wow. Is that another northern? Ooh, that's pretty. Yep, that was another northern. Oh my gosh. Man oh man, time to retire again. <laughs> oh shoot.
can I have a, ask you a favor, man? You mind taking a picture of the fish for me? <laughs> All right, so that was uh, my day, my couple hours of fishing. It was more like an hour and a half. Uh, I actually did catch another fish, but it was on a camera. My chest cam died, and I thought I had it recorded on the other one, but uh, uh, I guess I didn't. But it was all on the Mondo Worm. Uh, here's my honest review of this Guggen Bates Mondo, 10-inch Mondo Worm. Uh, I really, really like it. Uh, I've tried other products very similar to it. And it's not even close, man. The the way that it works and the way that it attracts and the way that it drops, the drop rate, everything. I really, really like it. I wasn't expecting to like it that much. I thought it would just be okay. But I honestly, honestly would recommend getting this specific bait. All right, guys. Well, that's my video for today. Thank you. Much love. Peace out. And uh, deuces.